For these problems, we want to find the place, the point, or points at which these each have horizontal tangents. So a horizontal tangent means that its tangent line touches the graph at one place, but at that point, that tangent line is horizontal, which means that it's going to have a slope of zero. So how do you solve these is you're going to take the derivative, we're going to use the power rule for that. Once we have the derivative, we're going to set it equal to zero, and that's going to tell us what x values is the derivative of zero, in other words, where it has a horizontal tangent. So that's the idea. Let's do that for the first one. Take derivative, you get y primed. And so you take the derivative, the uh, 2 comes down, power rule, subtract 1 from the exponent, y prime is 2x. Then we're going to set the 2x equal to 0, divide both sides, and we get 0 for x. Now that's part of the, the answer, but it asks for point. So you need to put this back into the original one and find the y coordinate. So y equals 0 squared plus 1, and when you do that, you'll get 1. So the way you, the answer that you'll write, the way you'll write it is like this. You'll put 0 comma 1. That's what they want as the answer. That's the point where there'll be a horizontal tangent. Do the same thing for this bottom one. Take the derivative. 3 comes down. Subtract 1 from the exponent. So you get 3x squared. Then we're going to take the derivative of the second one. We have a constant times x. The derivative of that would be just the constant out front. So you're going to get negative 27. We need to set that equal to 0. 0 equals 3x squared minus 27. We're going to solve for x. So when we do that, we get 3x squared equals 27 divided by 3. When you square root both sides, remember that you're going to get two answers here. So we get plus or minus 3 as the two x values. So it is possible you could have two places where this occurs. Now this is a cube, which means that the graph may look something like this. And so there's two places here where you have a horizontal tangent. That's pretty much going to be at the relative max and min. Now relative maxes and mins, we are going to talk about that in a later chapter when we get into applications of the derivative. But that's the basic idea. We're trying to find out what x values does this occur at where we get these horizontal lines on the graph uh, at the slope. We, we're not done yet, we got to find the points, so we got to plug these into each. So we're going to do y equals 3 cubed minus 27 times 3, so we get 27 minus 81, you're going to get negative 54. And then if you plug it in the uh, negative 3 in there, you're going to get negative 3 cubed minus 27 times negative 3. And this you're going to get negative 27 plus 81, which is positive 54. So how do you write your answer? You'll write your answer as two points. You'll write it as 3 comma. When we put in 3, we got negative 54. When we put in negative 3, we got positive 54. So then this would be your actual answer, I'll circle it here. So that's your answer for part A, and again this is your answer for part for part A was 0, 1, and this is your answer for part B, 3, negative 54, and negative 3, and positive 54.